Uh, may I have Nina's ring, please? Clifford, will you place this ring on Nina's finger and repeat after me? With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May I have Clifford's ring, please? Nina, will you place this ring on Clifford's finger and repeat after me? With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Those whom God hath joined together, let no man put asunder. For as much as Clifford and Nina have consented together in holy wedlock, and have witnessed the same before God and this company, and thereto have given and pledged their troth, each to the other, and have declared the same by giving and receiving a ring and by joining hands. So what's the problem? So but aren't you listening? The problem is even thinking about having a child in your situation. It's totally unrealistic. Not when you're in love with the baby's father. Sybil, what happened between you and me is over. It's finished. I am not going to give up Nina. He's going to find out, you know. When I'm eight months pregnant, all she has to do is count back to figure out who the father is. I pronounce that they are man and wife. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. You may kiss your bride, Clifford. 